so far in this course you have gone through the introduction to forex and we have touched also in the second section we touched on candlestick patterns the trend lines you know everything just about everything that you need to know to build up the bank trader strategy but right now we're going to go through some of the important patterns so these are actually the patterns that you see on the chart that the chart will be forming as it is moving up and down and these ones will be able to to help us predict the next movement where there's a continuation pattern where there's a turn around it's a reversal pattern so these are the patterns that are key are very key to for us to spot those uh, continuations in the market as well as the reversal points so we're going to be going through all of those in this section of the course and before we actually dive through in, into the real stuff which is going to be the bank trader strategy itself which is what you're waiting to learn but we are basically building all of this in so that you basically get the whole understanding of what for us is and all these uh, important aspects of it so that you can understand the bank trader strategy uh, more clearly and it'll be easier for you to get the sense of everything that we will be explaining remember i said you once you learn all of these things you have to put it all together so the bank trader strategy is how we all put it all together including the next strategy that you, that you are going to learn which is the uh, the trend line strategy we just recently finished the um the candlestick pattern uh based on the, the pin bar strategies that trend line is also going to be a build up on the pin bar strategy and then overall the bank trader strategy is the most powerful strategy that you can use to kill these markets and win every single day so firstly we're going to start get started with the continuation pattern so as you can see here on my chart so we have the bull flag and the uh, bear flag so these are both continuation patterns uh, the bull flag obviously is in the bullish market so it will help us to spot the continuation of a bullish trend and then the bear flag will help us to uh, to spot out a continuation in the bearish market so if the market is going down if this pattern form right here which is our bearish pattern if the market is going down then that means it's a perfect entry for us to go in so you can either enter at any of these points once you once you, it is confirmed once you're able to spot it so in our bullish market if we can spot this trend that means we can enter the entries if maybe you have missed out on this entry where you started right here and then you see this continuation pattern that that means you can actually capture that entry and carry uh, and ride along with this wave as well or it's an opportunity for you to add more positions because remember what we said about lot sizes you can either enter uh, with a whole full lot size to that will maximize your account and you know which is very very much risky or you can go in bit by bit so you can have already positions in here are uh, risking maybe one to five percent of your account right here and then when you see this pattern you enter more positions because now remember you've captured some profits all the way from there to where those point where we are right now so when, once you add add more positions it's just going to increase your profits uh, on top of these profits that you already have so uh, that's why we need that's why we make use of this continuation patterns uh, so that you'll be able to feed you know add more positions or capture a trend that you've missed the above continuation patterns are the bull and the bear flag uh, these patterns are spotted in a bullish or bearish trend forming the corrective phase in the in a trending market so they are called flags because the pattern resembles a flag on a pole we have our pole and then we have the flag right here and then after that flag we have a breakout which is uh, the confirmation that uh, the, the market is going up so remember we talk about breakouts as well which is uh, one of the key ways to enter a market after it is if a market is in a ranging status so as you can see this market was ranging between this um, resistance and support and then after the breakout it was a clean uh, movement and the market just shot up right so that, that is what we are looking for here on this chat right now that part of the ranging market that's the way it, the flag is actually formed but uh, as you can see from here this is our pole after that is a bullish bullish flag fully confirmed and we are going in so this patterns are outline impulsive price moves movements to the upside and the downside so to the upside and the downside uh, depending which market you are currently trading these patterns are very common within the markets and you will see a lot of opportunities on these flag formation so make sure that you're very familiar with these patterns because they are very key and very powerful so we're going to be making making use of this uh, throughout this course as well now similarly to the to our flags our next two patterns are actually we have a triangle and then we have the expanding triangle so as you can see right here uh, these are bo co continuation markets in the bullish and they are both bullish so as you can see uh, our first triangle has a bigger base uh, the, so the bottom part is bigger and then here it forms uh, a triangle like that it gets narrower from uh, where it started so it's almost similar to a flag but the difference is that this is now not just a straight horizontal lines but they are more they are now uh, coming together they come into a meeting place basically creating a triangle right so uh, at the end they, they, will, they will form a triangle in the end uh, it doesn't have to doesn't mean that the market should continue until it actually gets to a triangle 
in some cases you might find that but as, as long as it actually shows the triangle formation that is actually there's a triangle that's being formed then it's a confirmed uh, triangle continuation pattern as you can see right there so in the other side we have it starting with the smaller side so the the base will be at the end right there as you can see but overall the triangle will, is being formed right the triangle is being formed like that so if you continue these patterns they obviously form a triangle so they're similar to the flag easy to to spot so that uh, basically you you won't have a lot of uh, different patterns that you need to uh, to remember so you just need have to remember that it looks like a flag but it will just have the triangle and then or it can also be an expanding triangle meaning that the base is on the other side where we are expecting a breakout on this on the side uh, so this is how the um the triangle and the flags look like so the triangle is another form of continuation pattern and it is very rare to find picture perfect within this chart so you're, you're not going to be looking for a, exactly a perfect triangle as i said it doesn't have to uh, be ending directly straight to the end of the triangle to see that it's really really a triangle it just has to form a triangle like shape uh, for you to confirm that it is a, a triangle continuation pattern so the expanding triangle like a flag continuation pattern would retain its general parallel structure uh, then expanding triangle broadens as price action develops so as you can see it keeps on developing and then it just broadens the triangle until we see a breakout over there and then that is our perfect entry uh, to enter the market but remember it doesn't have to be exactly as you're seeing here it doesn't have to be picture perfect um, you just have to be able to spot the triangles as you can see on the market right there so this pattern results in a very nice risk to reward ratio remember we spoke about risk to reward ratio never risk more than you can win so always work from a minimum of one as to two um, risk to reward ratio and that will always make sure that you always make profits in this market